Good morning, Eagles. Today we have a special show dedicated to the March 11th tsunami and earthquake, including some pictures of how the Masao community is aiding our host nation in the wake of the disaster. We also have some footage of how our st students are sharing their experiences with the earthquake. Today is April 6th. I'm Scott Cronin. And I'm Chase Grant. And this is, is your, your Eagle, Eagle Update. Update. I hope you can hear me. I remember it clearly. Stressful times often bring out some of the best creative capabilities in a person. Isn't that right, Scott? It's very true, very true. In light of this disaster, Ms. Kuntz, the language arts teacher, gave her students a special assignment in order to spur their creative minds and help spread hope across the community and abroad. As students return to class this week, I wanted to do a lesson that would help them in all the recovery efforts we have in, in our community and would, give, would instill in them hope strength, bravery, and resilience. And then um, the students were asked to pick one, two, or three words and create a poster, putting the word on the poster and then blogging or writing a poem or drawing a picture on how the word fits into the context of their own experience during the earthquake and the tsunami and how the word, uh, how they can find inner peace, hope, resilience and strength to come back to school and to come back to uh, life as we want to come back to. Ms. Coons' latest project inspired some great works of art. Do you like poetry, Chase? I absolutely love it, Scott. Then you will love this one by our Eagle Update's very own Perry McGregor. It is entitled Mavens. Let's have a look. There was no sound. Land uprooted till it shakes. On no danger, kids were laughing. But what has happened? Beneath it moves suddenly, changing, breaking, it calmed. It isn't over, not till home is built anew. But when does it stop? After the water washes, waiting, hiding there, things out of place. Legs moving past, it's starting to clear. But whose hands are working? On the radio, a steady beat, echoing everywhere, doesn't fade. People in the blue, leaving too soon. But where will they go? Mavens in the dust, standing tall. Behind the eyes are a light. Pass in earth, water, though not in mind. They now lie in memories and heart. In other news, this past Saturday, 58 Egrin students and 16 faculty members assisted in relief efforts with the Masawa Red Cross. Ms. Justina would like to thank all of those students and faculty members for their hard work and dedication during this trip. We are still planning more trips. If you are interested in the trip this Saturday, April 9th, please contact the main office. Thank you for tuning in, Eagles. We here at the Eagle Update are glad that everyone is safe, and we wish you all a great spring break. I'm Chase Grant. And I'm Scott Cronin. And this has been your, your Eagle, Eagle Update. Update. So strange the way things turn